Hello everyone, this is Bryant with SFFTSource.com, your premier guide to Six Flags Fiesta Texas, and we have finally made it out here for Holiday in the Park. Now, Holiday in the Park takes place now through January 7th on select dates. You've got all the Christmas lights, you've got all the holiday activities, the live entertainment, you've got some specialty foods. Now, it is important to keep in mind that from now until December 23rd is the full event, and then after December 23rd, the shows will end. Santa Claus will go back to the North Pole. So just keep that in mind when planning your visit. So we're going to head into the park. We'll check out the show offerings. We'll show you where you can get some specialty food items. And then, of course, once it gets dark, we will check out all the Christmas lights and all of the fun little decor pieces that they have around the park. We also want to give a huge thank you to Six Flags Fiesta Texas because they invited us out for the very first showing of their brand new show, A Christmas Carol, at Rockville High. So we're very excited to see that brand new show offering as well. So let's head into the park. We've made our way into the park and we've got all the festive garland everywhere. No Christmas lights though yet, it's not quite dark enough. We've popped off into Six Flags Mercado just to take a look at some of the merch that they have, but nothing too crazy. I feel like this is all pretty much what it normally is. You've got like your holiday in the park sweater shot glasses and regular cups. Let's see what these regular cups cost. $9, okay. What does the sweater cost? $50. Of course, your discount supply. You can get some of your uh, favorite festive poop hats in here. And looks like this person was being nice. Are these 52? Oh, these are only 35. They do have these, uh, little like pull string ornaments but then they do have holiday in the park ornaments i do really like this one it's a pretty nice one i love park specific stuff and i don't think you're gonna find that but they have some of the ornaments that were here in previous years too let's see these are what ten dollars not too bad you also run into multiple theaters here in the los festivales area the first being right here to the left which is there goes a theater and this is where the majesty of christmas takes place and i just wanted to point out if you have a diamond membership or season pass then the first 10 minutes of the show or i should say the first 10 minutes of entry are reserved exclusively for you so they're doing this at all the venues this is pretty cool especially with how popular these shows are so just one more perk for the diamond level when God reached out to earth to touch mankind, oh, God, your peace of him, the angel's voice She shall bring forth the Son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which being interpreted God with us.
you continue into the Texas State Square, little area of Los Festivales, you run into the big wreath and these huge nutcrackers and presents that you can take photos with. So of course, you know, at night this will be all lit up, but it's still a pretty fun photo op during the day too. As you cross over to the right of Texas State Square is Teatro Fiesta, which is one of the park's outdoor venues. And returning for this year is Have Yourself a Looney Tunes Christmas. So fun little show. Every show is kid friendly during Holiday in the Park, of course, but this is a very, very kid friendly show. Now, as we cross into the Crack Axle Canyon section, you run into the Candy Cane Lane area, which during the day actually looks pretty cool too. It's got all the like white trees and stuff out here, all the garland. But with Candy Cane Lane also comes Santa's Cottage, which is right through this entrance. So once inside Santa's Cottage, you've got like a gift shop, which has all kinds of stuff. A lot of what we've already shown you over here, right when you come in, you can do letters to Santa in the little corner. And then as you swing around this way, that's where you can take photos with Santa. There he is, hanging out right here in his little chair. Also here in Crack Axle Canyon, you have Old Blue's Barbecue, which is one of the indoor restaurants. It's not quite open for the day yet, but they do have some holiday offerings. Let's see if we can see through the window. I lied, they are open. They just had the doors closed, but We'll zoom in, oh, it's jumping around. So here are some of the holiday snack offerings. You got that pumpkin parfait, the apple strudel, and the pecan pie slice. And then for meals, you have the holiday meal, which is like your big Thanksgiving meal. You've got the sliced turkey sandwich. And then of course, we've got to wait for it to come back. And you've got a stuffed turkey, stuffed with dressing and topped with gravy. And there's your side options. Really good stuff. And here at Old Blues, we got the pumpkin parfait, which you can see is a multi-layer of pumpkin and crumble goodness with some whipped cream and such. Let's give it a try. All right, y'all, let's give this parfait a try. It's fun for the holidays, you know? Uh, there's a lot of, um, like, pie crumble. It pretty much just tastes kind of like an apple pie that you would get, like, or a pumpkin pie that you would just get, like, in the store. Nothing too crazy, but nice little treat. All through the Crack Axle Canyon section, you have this really fun-looking garland on the buildings and going over the pathways. Here, right across from the Thirsty Buffalo, you run into your first s'more stop. So you can purchase a s'mores kit here. They are $5.99. And then you can go over to the little fire pit over there and roast them. They've got these all around the park. Also here in Crack Axle Canyon is the Whistle Stop train station. You can see adorned in the garland. Now, at night, they will have the Holiday Express here. So you're going to want to board here in Crack Axle Canyon. But you get on the train and see all kinds of fun holiday scenes at night. Also here, just out front of the Whistle Stop train station is this big golden steampunk esque like tree which also acts as a fun photo op right out here by the quarry wall fountains and the fiesta texas railroad tunnel you can see some of the scenes that you'll experience on the holiday express of course full effect happening at night <laughs> As you go through this foliage tunnel out of Crack Axle Canyon, you have the Winter Wonderland Tunnel, which we'll take a look at at night. And you also have H2 Ho 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 at night over here at these fountains here at Lone Star Lil's Amphitheater. And uh, you just watch this show from the main pathway. Now, while this video primarily focuses on Holiday in the Park, we will point out a couple of the things going on around the park, such as the opening of Kid Flash Cosmic Coaster, which happened since we've been here last 
And I do love the fact that the uh, electric light up panels that are going around there are red and green for Holiday in the Park. That's a lot of fun. And here they come, racing their way around. You've got the AC and the DC side, yellow and red. I've been told that red is the much more exciting side, but that they're both very fun. And of course, it does go around, around twice. So they'll make their way back up the lift hill there. into Thrill Seeker Park, which will soon be the expansion of DC Universe. They have wasted no time tearing down the little kitty play ship area and the Thrill Seeker Park stage. We've also got some ads here showing the three new rides, but if we take a look over the fence, yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's just wide open spaces back there. Pretty wild to see. Oh, we got a little piece left though. And as we come into the current DC Universe area, right here, outside of DC Supervillain Swing, you've got another s'mores purchasing booth. And then you swing around the pathway over here, right by this little games midway, and you've got the uh, full booth where you can make that s'more. As you come into the Rockville area, you have your holiday illuminations, in hometown holidays, you've got the Rockville Christmas tree back there, which lights up at 6 p.m. But they also have just little touches. So, like on the little light post, you got these old school decorations going through here. Got one down on that one too. Lots of fun. We stopped off into Primo's Pizzeria here in Rockville to point out some more specialty foods gonna have to let it switch back over but they've got some pizza lasagna I'm probably gonna have to pause the video to see this but they also have pie pecan pumpkin or apple right here at Primo's Pizzeria all right we went ahead and decided to brave the unknown and get the pizza lasagna which is a holiday in the park exclusive we got it with garlic knots you can get it with a side salad or a bag of chips also stopped off over at the Roller Coaster Coffee and got some Starbucks. Now, even though your dining plan discounts apply there, I do want to point out, I did get charged that 99 cent fee on a drink. So, good times we're living in. All right, y'all, so the garlic knots, of course, are something that they always have here at Primo's. But this, the pizza lasagna is new. I've never seen lasagna with sausage on it it's really not bad you know it sounded pretty treacherous but it's not bad here let's get one with some pepperoni it's not a ton of food so it's not gonna weigh you way down the sauce cheese the noodle it's all good i i thought this was gonna be wild and weird but it's pretty good I would uh, highly recommend this one. Right here at the Rockville Plaza stage in front of the Christmas tree, you have two shows. You have the returning Sing Christmas and you have the all new Tinker Bells. Both happen right here, right just in front of this huge Christmas tree. Here on the side of Rockville High, you've got all these fun Christmas trees. They've wrapped the lampposts in garland. And then these little sugar cookie cutouts have made their way over here. So if you're looking for these, 
They're a very fun photo op. They've made their way over here, probably because of the construction in that children's area. And here out front of Hustler, you've got another s'more stop. And of course, the other big brand new show offering is here in Rockville High, right in front of us, which is a Christmas Carol. Very excited to see this. My cargo was deceased. Lesson Jacob Marley had gone to his report. To heaven above, for hell below, his fate would be born. Raise for the rest 
ventured over into Spasberg and it has started raining but there is no big food festival this year however they do still have kind of a holiday themed food booth over here and I'll show you the menu here so you can get the soup and a bread bowl broccoli cheddar chicken potato Texas style chili they also have a lemon leche cake parfait lemon cake soaked in a sweet milk mixture paired with a raspberry sauce of course you can get your hot chocolate here or some beer does not look like the soup is a meal on the dining plan, so that is something you would have to pay for if you wanted to enjoy that. Here in Sangerfest Hall, in the Spotsburg section, you do have a couple holiday offerings. We'll zoom in on those. And you can see it's the same holiday meal as Old Blues, but you can get it over here if you'd like. And then they also have slices of pie, pecan, pumpkin, or apple. Also here in Sangerfest Hall, at the Sangerfest Hall stage, is the return of the Christmas Presents show. Sun is uh, slowly starting to set. We've kind of wrapped back around a Crack Axle Canyon to check out the Winter Wonderland Tunnel. I like this. It looks nice, and uh, you know they freshened it up this year. A little bit of a different look, a little different color scheme, new decorations. And as the sun continues to set, we eagerly await the lighting of the Rockville Christmas tree. fighting quite a bit of uh, rain issues here but wrapped back around into Spasberg where they have all kinds of Christmas lights up everywhere and of course also here in Spasberg you have the singing saps and as we make our way back into Texas State Square your Christmas packages are all lit up the photo op wreath is all lit up. And of course you have all the lights that go down the thoroughfare of Los Festivales. Candy Cane Lane, of course, is adorned with the candy canes and the red and white lights to go with it. Look 
looking great. And of course, the streets of Crack Axle Canyon are decorated quite appropriately for the occasion. All right, everyone, that does it for this visit to Six Flags Fiesta, Texas for their holiday in the park event. We had tons of fun, even with the crazy, rainy, cold weather. We were able to pretty much do everything we wanted to. The shows, the outdoor shows got a little weird with the weather. That's why we don't have a lot of footage of them. But they still did the Christmas tree lighting and they did the best they could with, with kind of what was going on with the weather. Of course, you've got Majesty of Christmas, which is always a classic. And you've got the brand new Christmas Carol in Rockville High, which was so much fun. Loved the sets. I felt like everyone was doing a great job with their characters. The design overall was just nice. And in my opinion, it's great to have some show offerings that aren't just straight up music reviews. Just changes it up a little bit and uh, gives you more of a reason to kind of go in there and watch. If y'all have any questions about Holiday in the Park, I encourage you to check out our Holiday in the Park guide. We've got all of the show information, the interactive activities, we've got the show schedule, we've got all of the specialty food that we talked about listed on there if you want to see kind of like a written down copy of that. Of course, you can always ask questions in the comments below and we'll do our best to help you out. So like I said at the beginning of the video, make sure you come out before December 23rd or I should say by December 23rd because that is when the shows end. So after December 23rd, Still have Holiday in the Park going on, but it's not really the full-on event. It's mostly just the Christmas lights. We thank you all for watching. Take care, and we'll see you soon at a theme park.